US-based satellite company Viasat has announced it's teamed up with Boeing to create three new satellites that will bring high-speed internet to the most remote rural parts of the world. We're talking about 1,000 gigabytes per second. Uh, this is high-speed internet. It's going to be put in places uh, that you wouldn't expect to have the internet. We're talking about Africa. We're talking about on commercial airlines, uh, maritime operations, freighter ships, oil and glass platforms, government aircraft. The world is moving forward in terms of the internet. Up till now, only certain areas could get high speed. Now these three satellites are going to deliver twice uh, the network capacity of the already 400 satellites that we see in space, basically giving high speed internet to billions of people worldwide. Down here, up there, in space, below, on ships. <laughs> I love it, Joe. Look, I'm sick of being scammed by every time I get on an, air, on an airline and, and paying 15 bucks for 30 minutes of internet. My question is, though, uh, this could, um, or my statement rather, this could have a major impact on very poor, very rural areas that, that don't have access to the internet. You know, this could really be revolutionary in the way it changes lives. You can basically get a college degree for free online if you really wanted one. And the fact that, that they're doing this, they're not the only company, though, involved in the internet race. Facebook, we, you and I have talked about this on the lip, um, covering with the solar drones. They wanted them to fly over specific areas. Also, Virgin Galactic and SpaceX. Um, Musk wants to strap it onto the Falcon rocket, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yeah, SpaceX <laughs> wants to strap uh, to strap the satellite onto the Falcon 9 rocket. Um, mm -hmm. As you mentioned, Facebook have been looking at all sorts of methods. Uh, we've seen pictures mm -hmm. of the big tr the drones, the planes that they're talking about flying over mm -hmm. rural areas. But it looks like Viasat are ahead of the rest. They're talking about 2019. Uh, the first two satellites will be launched. They'll be delivered into space. Uh, via Boeing's systems, and, and they're going to initially provide service for the Middle East, for Africa, for the Americas, for Europe, and then the third satellite will go up sometime later and will deliver internet for Asia. Um, but we're, we're talking about the fact that it's not just about providing internet just here on Earth. We're talking about providing internet up in the sky, in planes, on rockets. Really, uh, this will do a lot to change how we view the internet, how we con connect with each other, how we use services, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, for things like uh, a learning and education online. And when you think about third world countries, that can obviously hugely uh, impact the world. Um, the CEO of, of the company, of Viasat, Mark Dangberg, he, he said that the innovations in the Viasat 3 system, they will do what until now has been impossible in telecommunications. So it seems like the world is changing when we're talking about internet. Three satellites going up in the sky that will deliver 1,000 gigabits per second to even the most rural areas in the world.